What's up creators, it's your boy, Mad Mike. And on today's episode, we got a new project. I'm gonna be turning this electric scooter into an electric jet ski for the street. So stay tuned, check it out. If you can see it in your mind, you can hold it in your hand. Ha, dare to be you. This world is just a canvas to our imagination. Turn a figment of your mind into creation. Alrighty guys, so this is it. This is gonna be the base for our project. It's an electric tricycle made by, I don't know how to pronounce it, Nolet, Nole. They're made in Canada. And yeah, it's powered by two deep cycle marine batteries. It's got a 100 kilometer range. Uh, top speed is I think 25 kilometers an hour. That's what they're claiming. But yeah, this is gonna be the base for the project, guys. We're gonna be stripping all the fiberglass shells off of the body, getting rid of that seat, and underneath this is basically a BMX tricycle. Batteries and the controller are mounted in the back. So this thing is pretty badass. You got your control board up here, which shows your battery usage, etc. The charging port is down low, right there. And yeah, you basically got a hand throttle here. You got reverse. This thing is quick, so I gotta be careful. I don't have my hands on the brake. Whoa, and just hit a snowmobile. Okay, so yeah, you got one front brake, and that's your only brake on this unit. The motor kind of slows you down, but not a lot. It coasts quite a bit. It's pretty fast, it's dangerous. I already ran into the project cars, so my other subscribers probably recognize this. Yes, we're gonna be jumping back onto this and working on this Pontiac Fiero Ferrari kit car very soon. I'm just trying to get this done so I can maybe flip it, make some more cash. I sold the snow bike, so that's gone. So this will be coming back into the channel, but yeah, the other day I hopped on this and I rammed one of my diffusers. Just bent that aluminum bracket all up, so we'll have to fix that. All right, car on. You got forward, reverse, and this isn't in top speed either. This thing is so fast, the brakes don't do it justice. So when we put the jet ski on top, I might have to upgrade the brakes. I might have to put on a disc brake conversion or do something else because I definitely want to be able to stop this better than it does right now. So let's stop monkeying around in the shop and bring that jet ski in. It's not a game, it's a red thing. This thing is friggin' frozen to the ground. Making some progress, guys. I got the ice and the dirt that was frozen the bottom off of it. I'm gonna try picking it up from the back and pushing it towards the shop. Let's see what happens. Well, I got it in front of the door. Let's open it up and see if I can drag it in. Well guys, check that out. The jet ski is now inside the Mad Lab. Woo! Here it is guys, the Polaris jet ski in all of its glory. It's got some pink and blue. We're gonna do a custom paint scheme on this just like we did the snow bike. We'll do our mad splatter technique and some bright colors. Or maybe we'll go, no, let's do bright colors. This is like a 90s kind of beach vibe I wanna go with. Once we mount it to this electric moped, you'll be able to go down the beach Maybe mount your surfboards on the side. And yeah, you can drive this thing on the sidewalk legally. You could actually go into a grocery store with that. Believe it or not, they're certified for that. So up close and personal, you got the back seat. That should come up, might be a little frozen. I really don't know what we have in here. The motor has been ripped out. And we just got a bunch of spare parts it looks like. Might be able to use some of that for future projects. 
The motor has been stripped out, so that's one good thing. And from the side, I wanna to try to keep this as low as possible, but give it enough ground clearance, probably like four inches. So we are gonna be stripping all that stuff out of it. We're gonna be removing as much weight as possible off the jet ski, because I wanna have it as light as possible for when it's mounted onto this for range, and so we can maximize our speed. These things are quite heavy right now, even without the motor out of it. Uh, just the fiberglass shell is super heavy. I do know that once I cut the bottom portion out, there's a lot of foam in them usually, and that's where most of the weight is to keep them uh, the center of gravity down low on these. So we will be taking a lot of weight when we cut the bottom of this. And the seat is heavy, so we might remove a bunch of foam and do something different there. It might just be waterlogged, or it actually might be a giant ice cube right now because it's been outside for the past two months. All right. Let's start tearing this thing apart, removing all the fiberglass fairings, the seat, the basket, and then I can get access to the batteries and the motor and show you guys more details on that. All right guys, let's go ahead and start stripping down the electric scooter. I just removed the back cover and now you can see the controller. It's got your positive, your negative. This goes to your uh, switches and your control board up front, which shows your battery voltage and all the other doodad stuff that comes with electronics. So we'll go ahead, we'll disconnect this like ethernet style cable. Bam, that's connected. This green one here, these two lights are just, I think they're like a 12 volt source. So these go to my tail lights. And then the other two are just your positive and negative. So before I unhook these guys, I just wanna make sure that whenever I'm dealing with my positive, negative and stuff in my batteries, I'm being safe. I had a buddy last Christmas who got electrocuted really, really bad. And ever since then, I've been terrified of electrical stuff. So just be safe if you're monkeying around with this stuff, guys. It, don't take it lightly, it's serious business. You can get hurt. So make sure to be safe if you don't know what you're doing. Ask somebody who does to help you out. In this case, this is all pretty low voltage stuff and everything's been covered up with wire looms. There's no exposed wires, so I'll be super safe and you guys should too. Now that looks pretty dang cool guys. I got the seat and the whole back end off and we are basically left with some sort of a scooter looking thingamajigger. It actually looks pretty cool like that. I'd way rather ride it like this than with the seat and the whole back end on. This thing is just gonna line up so good. The handlebars are gonna go right through here. It's gonna be well supported. It's gonna line up perfect. And you know what I can do? I'm gonna go ahead and put a rubber mat down here so I don't make any connections between my positive and negatives. And I wanna see if this thing rides like a scooter. This thing as a scooter is freaking awesome. I almost just want to keep it like that, but I can't. I got to mount the jet ski body onto this thing. Everything's pretty much stripped off. I got all the bolts removed up here underneath the basket. I think I'm gonna have to go ahead and disconnect this controller, remove the headset, take off the handlebars so it can come up out of this hole. And I gotta try to get this up on its side so I can see what screws are holding this 
the center part down. I almost have a feeling like underneath this grip tape, there is a couple of screws, so I might have to peel that up. So let's dive into that and see if we can peel that up, find those screws, remove the handlebars, go from there. Now I got the brake cable all disconnected. I'm gonna have to try to figure out the power, how it's connected to here. It's probably connected in here, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to figure out how to unhook the power to the controller so I can feed all those wires through that hole and then I'll be able to remove this. Oh, that's pretty easy. Gotta love it when wiring is done nicely. So that ethernet that connects to the back of the motor there, where the control board is, is just another ethernet on the front end here. This wire here goes to the throttle, and the other wire clip goes to your ignition. So I'll just unclip all these, feed the wires through, then I should be able to pull the handlebars off and remove the front fairing. Not a big fan of how exposed all this wiring on the circuit board and control panel is. You can already see a little surface rust going on there, so I'll put some electronics cleaner on there, and I'll also seal up this box, because if I'm out in the rain or something, I don't want to damage these electronics, so I'll make sure that this is well sealed. That is pretty insane guys. There was only one bolt holding this entire fairing on, but yeah, we got the entire thing disassembled, stripped down. Look at this base guys. This is gonna be the perfect base for an electric jet ski conversion. All I had to do, that took me what? Probably half an hour to remove all the body panels and now we're left with the bare bones and this is all steel. So I can go ahead and weld my mounts that'll support the body off of this frame. It'll be super sturdy. All right guys, thanks for watching part one of the electric jet ski conversion. In the next episode, we should be mounting the body and having a look at what we've got to fabricate for body mounts. So stay tuned, make sure to like, subscribe, and we'll catch you guys next time. Ah, ciao, ciao. Woo!